Hello guys, welcome to my channel Travel Wonderful. My name is Giovanni and in today's videos we are in the beautiful city of Edinburgh, Scotland, one of the most beautiful cities in the UK and in the world. Very famous for its cultural heritage of the world and very incredible places. So get ready, as in this video we show you the best things to do and visit in this beautiful capital city. As taken from a fairy tale, Edinburgh is a top destination in the UK and it was voted the UK's best destination for young people in the British Youth Travel Awards. So let's find out all these hidden gems and amazing places together. One of those hidden gems being the Dean Village, an oasis of calm in the city. The Dean Village is a tranquil green oasis on the water of Leith, only 5 minutes walk from Princess Street. We arrived to Dean Village, which dates back to the 12th century and once home of 11 mills that supported Edinburgh until the 19th century. Definitely worth a visit to come and take pictures and have a lovely walk in front of the river. Located in the heart of the city, we get to Victoria Street, one of the most beautiful and charming areas of the city, with painted front of shops and the massive buildings made of grey stone. And with very interesting facts that make this area one of the most photographed in all the city. Guys, so we arrived just now to Victoria Street located in the old town, so it's definitely worth a visit because uh, this little street here, it says that uh, J.K. Rowling got inspired to the famous Diagon Alley in the famous series of films Harry Potter. So if you are a fan movie of Harry Potter, this is definitely a bit. A look here is definitely worth it and there is a lot of shops uh, that contain Harry Potter souvenirs and articles. So as you can see there is a lot of uh, Harry Potter souvenir shops here. So if you are a true fan of Harry Potter, make sure you visit the stores in the Victoria Street, uh, inspiration of the Diagon Alley. There is so many souvenirs and things you can buy. Just a short walk from here, we get to one of the most iconic cafes in all Scotland. So we are now in the Elephant House uh, Cafe, one of the most popular cafe in Edinburgh and in the world, as this is where uh, J.K. Rowling used to come and write books, and it is said that she took the inspiration to write Harry Potter in here. You can see the pictures in the walls, uh, even postcards that you can buy uh, with J.K. Rowling writing in here. We're uh, eating right now some brownie and drinking some coffee, and it's very nice to be honest. It's usually really busy, but we managed to get in here. An interesting tour you can take when visiting Edinburgh is the Haunted Underground Vaults and Graveyard Tour, which is gonna spook yourself on a guided tour of the most haunted sites in Edinburgh, and visit the graveyard of Greyfriars Kirkyard to learn the legend of Greyfriars Bobby. Bobby was the name of a Sky Terrier who belonged to John Gray, a night watchman for the Edinburgh Police. They were inseparable, however in 1858 John Gray died, and after this moment Bobby never separated from his master's grave, making him one of the most iconic characters in Edinburgh. Bobby was buried just inside the gate of the Greyfriars Kirkyard, not far from John's grey grave. It is important to note that these graveyards also serve as an inspiration to J.K. Rowling when naming some of her characters in Harry Potter, like for example, Professor McGonagall or Tom Riddle, or should I say, Lord Voldemort. The tour has a price of £18 per person and it lasts one hour and a half. Another interesting tour you can take when visiting Edinburgh is Firth of Fort, a 90-minute Three Bridges cruise, with views of the Three Bridges, including the UNESCO World Heritage Fourth Bridge, Ishcombe Island and Medieval Abbey, 
During your cruise, you will also have incredible views of the Edinburgh skyline. During the tour, you will find plenty of opportunities to both see and photograph a wide variety of marine wildlife, including seabirds, porpoise, and seals. Another amazing thing you can do when coming to Edinburgh is enjoy the beautiful views of the Edinburgh Castle from Princess Street Gardens. This is an amazing park uh, dating back from the 1820s, very well maintained with a lot of places to sit. Uh, you can have a very lovely walk around, enjoy the nice weather. Uh, you can even have a pint in here outside and have some food if you, if you wish so. Uh, very nice option uh, and it's on your way to the Edinburgh Castle. We got here this uh, interesting sculpture uh, of Wojtek in memory of the Polish men and women that fought uh, for your freedom and ours. It's very interesting to see this kind of uh, sculptures here in Princess Street uh, Gardens. I mean look at this view. So beautiful. And remember, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give a like, you subscribe to the channel and you activate your notifications. It is for free and it takes literally one second to do. Look at this amazing view of the Edinburgh Castle from here. And we finally arrived to Edinburgh Castle, which is one of the oldest fortified places in Europe with a long rich history as a royal residence, military garrison, prison and fortress. It is alive with many exciting tales. When you climb Castle Hill, you will walk in the footsteps of soldiers, kings and queens, and even the old pirate or two. Though parts of it remain in military use, the castle is now a world-famous visitor attraction. It's also an iconic part of the old and new town of Edinburgh World Heritage Site. Look at this amazing view from here. From here you could feel back then in the top of the world and you will be protected from any enemy. And from here you could see where to attack and how to defend yourself. The cost to enter to the castle is £15.50 and it includes the entry to the National War Museum as well. None of uh, the country which leads uh, the whiskies around the world, we have here an amazing shop in which you can find the very own made Edinburgh Castle whiskies. So it's interesting to have a look at uh, different kinds of whiskies from all of over Scotland and have a try. And talking about taste, make sure you try some of the restaurants located in the new town and try its traditional Scottish breakfast, which includes the traditional recipe haggis, which is really delicious. Continuing our adventure we arrived to Calton Hill, Edinburgh's own Acropolis. The panoramic views from Calton Hill have astonished and inspired visitors for centuries. Major landmarks can be seen from a bird's eye view. Arthur's seat with the cracks behind Holyrood Palace and the Parliament, Leith and the Firth of Forth, Princess Street in its new town, Creed and the Royal Mile climbing up towards the castle. Galton Hill is also famous for its collection of historic monuments, which form some of the most important landmarks of the city. One of the most striking is the National Monument, inspired by the Parthenon in Athens, intended to commemorate the Scottish servicemen who died in the Napoleonic Wars. It was never completed, leaving just the 12 columns that you see today. And 
And which one is your favorite part of this video? Which one is your favorite part of Edinburgh? Let us know in the comments below, activate your notifications and subscribe to our channel. See you on the next video.